friends, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a card using this brand new totally awesome stamp set from Lawn Fawn with these adorable frogs. And I will also be using the Bayou Backdrops to create my scene. Beginning with my frogs, I'm going to be using some yellow greens. I want my frogs to look nice and vibrant since they are the focal point of the card. And then I'll be using some more muted colors for most of the rest of the images. So for the frogs, I'm using YG01, YG03, and YG05. And beginning with that YG05, I'm laying in my shadows. So I'm doing the underside of his face and then his body that is behind his head and the inside of his little arms and legs. And then I'm blending out with the YG03 and finishing with the YG01. Now at this point I realized that I wasn't getting quite the contrast that I was going for. So I did bring in the YG07 and added that to my shadows and then just blended that out with the YG05 once again. I used that YG07 to color in the little spots on the larger frog's back. And then I use those same four shades to color in the littler frog as well. I'm just shading on the outside edge of his body, darkest to lightest once again. And I will save um, the center of his face and his tummy for that YG01 just to have a little bit of a highlight. He's real quick and easy to color since he's so small. For the lily pads, I'm using G21, G24, and G28. And starting with that G28, I'm going to do a bit of a shadow towards the front, especially since there are going to be, um, well, one frog will be jumping from one lily pad to the other, and the little frog will be sitting on the little lily pad, so there would be a shadow cast if the sun was a little bit behind them. So I'm shading with the dark on the front, and then I'm going to blend out with that G24. Now there is quite a bit of difference between that G24 and the G28, so I do have to go work at it just a bit and scrub back and forth with my marker to really get that harsh edge to dissolve a little bit. And once I have that softened, then I will come in with the G21 to finish all three of those off. And the G21 and the G24 are really close together, so they don't take any effort to blend at all. And then I'm going to color in all the other grasses and cattail leaves with the same three shades to match. For the tops of the cattails, I'm using E44, E47, and E49, and I'm shading darkest to lightest from the bottom up, and I think this combination makes the perfect cattail color. For the water lilies, I've chosen R81, R83, R85, and R89. And I'm going to color them mostly with the lighter three shades and just have a tiny bit of accent with that R89. So I'm starting as if the R85 is actually my darkest and shading that way. And then blending with the R83 and then finishing the tips with the R81. And then I'm going to come in with that R89 and just add the teensiest amount where I want my darkest shadows to be. And the reason I did this at the end was because I didn't want it to get too heavy handed from the get go. I wanted the water lilies to stay nice and bright. So I just added that in and then I'll blend that out with the R85. I wanted to give my dragonflies a two-toned effect, so I'm actually going to be coloring the bottom half of their wings with BG45 and BG49, just using that BG49 in the innermost corner there and then blending out with the BG45. And then for the top half of their wings, I'm going to use V06 and V09. So I'll just start with that V09 in the corners and then blend out to the outside edge with the V06. And that is going to complete our coloring, so I'll just trim these out with the matching dies. 
So here are the pieces for my background. I use the Lawn Fawn Simple Stitch Hillside Borders for the water and the Bayou Backdrops for the frame. And then I just have a plain light blue piece for the sky. But before I put that together, I need to stamp my sentiment. So I'm going to take the water and put that in my Misty. And I'll be stamping my sentiment in some Lawn Fawn Peacock ink. And it's going to say, have a happy birthday. And I'll stamp that down twice to get a nice impression. While I have my Misty out, I'm going to stamp the inside of my card as well. I'm using Jalapeno ink to stamp another one of the frogs, a fly, and the sentiment that says, you're totally awesome. Great sentiments in this set. I've lined up all the elements of my background so that I can take this slide on over semicircles die and tape that into place right where I want it and run that through my cuddle bug for our slider mechanism. Then I added two layers of foam tape to the back of my panel, making sure to keep it far away from that slider mechanism just so there won't be any issues with having that penny stick. I also ran a bit of a powder tool around that slider channel and around the penny mechanism. And that's just to make sure that it doesn't get caught up on anything and slides really smoothly once it's all put together. Then I can go ahead and insert my penny mechanism. It was a little bit tricky to squeeze in there since this is really nice and thick cardstock, but once I had it in there, it was good to go. So now I'm ready to adhere that to my card base. I'm just going to make sure that it is the front side of the card before I get it all put together. And then I'll peel off those release papers from the foam tape and line that up straight and press that down into place. Then I'll take a little liquid glue and add that to the card base that's showing through. And then I'll grab the little piece that was remaining from the semicircle die cut and just go ahead and set that down into place. Then I'll add my water and I stamped my sentiment just a hair too low. So I'm going to raise that up a tiny bit and then the frame from the Bayou Backdrops is going to cover that up. I'm adding just a very thin bead of liquid glue uh, all around the outside edge and then to a couple of the little uh, vines that are hanging down and then I can line that up right over top. Now I'm ready to start adhering my images and I'm going to begin with the little frog that's going to be on the penny slider. For him, I'm going to take some extra strong adhesive. I'm using Ranger's Multimedia Matte, and that's just to make sure that he doesn't go anywhere since he's going to be moving around quite a bit on this card. So I'll just line him up so that the penny is not showing at all and press him into place. And then I'm going to add a lily pad right underneath him. And I'll add another to the far left of the card so that he can be jumping back and forth. And I'm just tucking both of those under the edge of the frame. The third lily pad I'm going to add over on the right side. And the little frog is going to sit on that. And then I'll tuck a large and a small cattail on either side of the card behind the large lily pads. And I'm just making sure as I adhere everything down not to block any part of that channel so that our little frog is able to jump freely. I'll tuck one of these grasses behind the water at the pond's edge. And I wasn't sure yet where I wanted the other one, so I moved on to my water lilies. I'm adding the larger two of those onto the largest lily pads. And since the frog is already blocking the smaller one, I'm going to add the third water lily floating on top of the water, as they do. And then I thought I would tuck that other piece of grass behind that, just to give it a little bit more to ground it. The dragonflies are so small, I find the easiest thing to do is just add a dab of glue where I want them to go, and set the image down right over top. So I added one kind of skimming across the water and then two up in the hanging vines. For a final embellishment, I added a little bit of crystal stickles here and there as just an accent on the card. 
This could have also been a masculine card, probably without the glitter, but I just couldn't resist. Those dragonflies I knew would look so pretty with a little bit of sparkle on their wings. So I added a bit to them and also to the water lilies, just to the inside petals, and also to the outer edges of the cattails. And I forgot to do the little water lily, so I had to come back and do that. But overall, I think the card turned out super cute and I was really pleased with it. So I'm going to lift that up to the camera now that the penny slider glue has had a little bit of time to dry and show you that frog in action. Totally looks like they are playing leapfrog. And there's another peek at the inside as well. And even though he's not really touching any of that stickles, I'm just going to slide him over to a safe place until all of that has dried. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. You can also hit the notification bell if you want to be sure that my videos always end up in your feed. Here's two past videos that I thought you guys might enjoy. Hopefully those will tide you over until the next one. Until then, I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye-bye.